Zoom conference for West Virginia basketball before the first game of the NCAA tournament. The NCAA requests that when you ask a question, you use the raise hand feature and to state your name and affiliation. When I call on you, if I do not see your affiliation, I will ask you to present your affiliation to our uh, players. First up is Miles Deuce McBride. Question for Miles. The first one comes from Greg Hunter of the Blue and Gold News. So Deuce, we're, we're hearing good things and bad things about the bubble in, in Indianapolis. What's, what's your experience so far? Has it been good, bad, food awful, pretty decent? What are your thoughts? Uh, honestly, I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> Obviously, not being able to play in a tournament last year, you know, I think that hurt everybody being involved. And, you know, the people here are doing a really great job. I'm sure it's, it's tough to get, you know, 68 times, probably a traveling, traveling party of 30, all that, take care of, you know, facilities and things. So I'm just happy to be here and they're doing a really great job. Next question is from Michael Sussman. WMOV. Deuce, we've seen you have a lot of success this season with the ball in your hands in transition going coast to coast. Looking at this Moorhead State matchup, is that something that you look to exploit in this first game? And just kind of overall, what's your approach offensively? Uh, definitely. Always, uh, as a guard, I always want to be attacking downhill, attacking the defense anyway, making them suck in. Uh, obviously, we have shooters, be able to kick out to them and or just being able to draw big uh, and dropping it down to Derek. Obviously, that's a, one of our game plans. But honestly, we always want to be on the attack and, and going downhill at the defense. Justin Jackson from the Morgantown Dominion Post. Hey, Deuce, I'm wondering, have you guys had a chance to go into the arena yet? No, not yet. Okay, we will I mean Obviously, it's, you know, it's a huge football stadium and, and there's not going to be a lot of people in there. I'm just the, the uh, you know, the backdrops and, and just the overall size of the arena. Does that come into play at all, do you think? And, um, you know, something like this? Um, I think so, but we, we got to practice in there today. We're going to have, you know, probably another practice and get shoot arounds in there. So I think we're going to get used to it. But, you know, I think... Obviously, I, I was there, I think, in 2015 when they had it and watching some of the practices. So mm -hmm. I kind of remember it a little bit. It is it is going to be a bit of a difference from playing in Coliseum and some of the other, you know, gyms we've played in. But I think we'll be fine. And then uh, just uh, the, the day of the game, obviously, you guys are, are getting uh, the late start. Uh, what's that going to be like? Uh, you know, what do you, what do you guys have planned to kind of try to get through the day before, you know, just before you – get to play uh obviously there are gonna be other games on that day probably watch a few of those but you know we had a couple of late starts throughout the season that kind of prepared us for something like this keenan cummings rivals wvsports.com hey deuce wanted to know your first impressions of moorhead state and kind of what's what's the team been like ever since the oklahoma state game i know you said you wanted to get home rest up focus up how have things been going on that front uh first impressions is they can they can definitely shoot the ball they have uh you know a couple guys that really can shoot it catch and shoot really well uh they have a, a great big that really takes his time he's patient in the post and uh I think they play really well together. They share the ball really well. And ever since we've came home, obviously we didn't know we were going to play in that little stretch of time, but our focus has been 100% Moorhead State. Kevin Kinder, Blue and Gold News. Deuce, what do you do with the downtime? I mean, it sounds kind of strange to say that you got downtime in the compressed atmosphere of a tournament, but you've got that. And then especially on game day, waiting all the way till that 10 o'clock, what are you guys doing, you know, to you know, not go a little stir crazy, not just stare at the walls? Uh, honestly, there's there's not much you can do other than watch games, watch film. Uh, I mean, last night I watched Damian Lillard put up 50 against the Pelicans and that comeback win. I mean, there's not much you can do but just continue to watch basketball. 
Charles Montgomery, Daily SMM. Deuce, there is no one on this roster that has played in an NCAA tournament game. Um, obviously, it's a unique situation this year with COVID. But what's that like not having anyone to kind of look to that you have experience with past games like this before? I'm sorry, could you repeat the question, please? Okay. So no one on this roster, you guys have not had anyone on this roster that's played in an NCAA tournament game with West Virginia. What's that like not having anyone to look to and kind of ask for guidance or anything like that, especially with a unique situation like it is this year? Uh, it's tough, honestly, but I think it's going to be like that for a lot of teams, obviously not having the tournament last year. Uh it's going to be a lot of new guys overall in this tournament. So I think it's just going to be us being a little bit more aggressive and, you know, coming out and not leaving anything on the floor and not taking our uh, opportunity for granted.